everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We're supposed to see a good deal of rain come our way for the Maryland Terrapins and the Arizona State Sun Devil. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Sun Devils. The Sun Devils expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Arizona State has one of the most complete players on their defense. His instincts are like no other linebacker in the nation, and you rarely see him miss a tackle. Look for him to be a big reason as to why they win today. Hey, Kirk, AARP isn't calling this one wrong. The Sun Devils are not going to... Maryland is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Short kickoff. Amos fields it at the 13. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Guys, let me tell you about a player that I'm going to be watching today. This linebacker is amazing. Don't be surprised if he's in on every single tackle today. Yeah, Coach, this guy is something else. He has very good skills and excellent vision to just wreak havoc on the opposing team's running back. This guy is the difference maker on this defense, Kirk. If he plays well, then this running game will go nowhere today. Second and two yards to go. Ball on their own 41. The Devils come out in the ace formation. Plummer steps back to pass. Intercepted. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This cornerback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. Excellent field position to start the drive. First and ten. Jackson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Little handoff. And he's taken down at the 39. Jackson gains about five yards on the run. Second down. Ball on the 39-yard line. Jackson lines up in the deep back. High formation. Missed tackle. Brought down at the 39-yard line. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. It's third and five. Ball on the 39-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Wants to throw outside, and that one's fallen incomplete. He wasn't letting the receiver get to that one. That's a big play on third down to get a hand in there and break up the pass. I think the quarterback would like to have that one back. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Maryland lines up in a double tight set. He's under some heat. Long ball right side. And he's all the way down to the two. A little trickery by the quarterback paid off in a big way. I think they caught the safeties looking in the backfield at the running back, and the receivers ran right by them. First, First down goal. and goal to go. They're threatening inside the 20. High formation, looking for six. Another run, and they got him for a loss. One-yard loss for the halfback. It's second and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. Maryland sets up in the eye. He's tackled at the one. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Third down. We've got third and long here. The Turks go with the eye formation. He's looking to pass. Number six, zips it, and he's tackled.
I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Arkansas Razorbacks. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. Here come the Razorbacks. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Pittsburgh has a guy at wide receiver that everybody's talking about, and for good reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. You know me, I decided my pick a couple of days ago. Pitt's gonna win. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And it's a short kickoff. Lewis fields it at the 11. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. The right tackle is going to have a tough time today trying to keep up with this left defensive end. Coach, what do you have on this kid? When this guy isn't locked up by a blocker, he's creating havoc all over the field. He does a great job of getting his hands up to knock down passes. And more importantly, he's a sack artist. Trust me, Coach, this offense hasn't forgotten about this guy today. But even that shouldn't matter. He's just too good to keep out of the backfield. I'm excited to see this guy play. Pittsburgh comes out with an eye formation. A little handoff. Hugh tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Lewis lines up in the deep back, high formation. He rolls out to the right, and that one's incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Burton will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Burton fields it to 31. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. This drive will start at the 36-yard line. There's the play fake. Across the middle, and he's tackled in the open field. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still that penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First, First and long. Ball on the 26 yard line. Arkansas lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He's looking for his man, and that tackle's going to save him six. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. We've got a first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number 15 comes to the line with three wide. Little handoff. Tackle made at the 43. McFadden comes away with five yards on the carry. They line up at the 43. Second down. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. He steps up, looks. Number 15 slings it. He's tackled in the open field. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. The Razorbacks are lining up with three receivers. Fakes to the back. Throws. Burton was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second down and 10 to go. The Razorbacks line up with three wide. 
Williams tackles him at the 20. It's third down and eight to go. He's looking to pass. Surveys the field. Missed tackle. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. So he's sacked by the fifth-year senior at defensive end. Not an easy thing to have to block this guy for four quarters. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't know if it can be done. They're going to try a long field goal here. This will be about a 42-yarder. This will make it a field goal game. It's first down. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number nine comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. He's going right. And it's caught. Smith brings him down at the 30-yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. From their own 30-yard line. It's second down and three to go. The Panthers line up with two tight ends. He passes it. They connect again. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Holding on the offense. The pillar is declined. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. It's complete. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40. Drop back four yards on that one. Second and 14. Pittsburgh comes out in the shotgun. He throws it. It's deflected. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. Pittsburgh sets up in the eye, gets it out in a hurry. This one is incomplete. He almost had him there, Coach. Yeah, well, guess what? It doesn't count if you almost threw a good pass. Almost doesn't count. Sounds like a head coach talking. Yeah. And it's the offense that takes the field on four. Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. There's still a lot of warm air out there for tonight's battle between the Auburn Tigers and the Washington Huskies. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Huskies. The Huskies are coming into this game looking very fired up. Kirk, what are your thoughts on today's game? Auburn looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. Yo, there's only one winning team today. Auburn Tigers. Auburn ready to kick this one off. Bailey and Polk set to return. He kicks it. Polk takes it from the six. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. He 
It could be a long day for this right tackle as he takes on the challenge of blocking this animal at defensive end. We're going to have the opportunity to see a guy who can really create problems by getting to the quarterback. And something tells me he's going to be getting to the quarterback a lot today. He's not exactly going against the best right tackle in the world. Second it's second down and 12. and 12 to go. Ball on the 19. Polk, the lone back, looking to throw. Browning unloads. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Third From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. Browning back in the gun. Let's it fly. That is ball. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. And 12. Washington lining up the punt. Number 14 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Davis fields it at the 41. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Tigers have five receivers on this play. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. It's second down. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tigers come out in a shotgun. Gives it to the back. And he's hit hard at the 43-yard line. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Greg, great effort up front by that defense. They line up at the 43. It's third and 10. The Tigers with four receivers. Nuke set to go to the air. And this one falls incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing. Washington comes out with an eye formation. Brown with the give. Zero yards on that play. It's third and 14. Ball on the 36. Washington sets up in the eye. Brown steps back to pass. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. He wasn't letting the receiver get to that one. That's a big play on third down to get a hand in there and break up the pass. I think the quarterback would like to have that one back. Washington lining up the punt. Davis back deep to return. He gets it away. Davis. Fields it at the 27. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? Well, Brad, they still have two possessions. I think they have to get into the end zone on this drive. No doubt about it, Coach. Time is running out. If they want a chance to win this game, then they need a score right here. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. Man, I thought he was going to catch that one. He had it in his hands for a second. Yep. And in that same second, the defender smashed into him, knocking the ball loose. Great defense. Sure was, Coach. Second, and ten. second down. 27 yard line. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. Let's it go. Has it to the senior. They went back to the same play that time. Yeah, you're right. Same play as the one before, and they got a good completion and a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He throws right. Incomplete pass. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. Newton, back to pass. He unloads it. He snags it. Scales brings him down at the 46. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Trust me, this young man is not going to let these trainers keep him out of the football game. 
He's as tough as they come, and he'll be back today. They line up at the 46. Third down, a yard to go. Single set back for you. He's looking to pass. Got it ball. Good defensive play. Makes it fourth down. I'm sending out a big yo to the defensive coordinator right there. I'm sure he appreciates that yo. Great job of mixing up the coverage and putting his players in a spot to make a play. And they're smart enough to know the situation and to just knock it down. The Tiger line up with three wide. Throws this one out to the left. He's hit and taken down. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First and 10, ball on the 43. Newton lines up in the shotgun, drops back to pass, gets it out in a hurry. They can't connect, incomplete. Oh, man, he just overthrew him that time. Yeah, he just missed his man. Good play call, bad pass. So it's second and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Newton has four receivers lined up here. He throws it. He can scoot. Caught. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. From the 33-yard line, it's third down and short. Auburn comes out in the shotgun, looking to throw. Newton lets it go. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. I don't even think he saw the defense on that one. How does that kid expect to pick it off? He's got more tape on his hands than the heavyweight champ. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Barber comes to the line with three wide. He lets it go. He snags it. Barber with a takedown at the 28. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. We're down to just a minute in this game. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Gets rid of it quickly. Off his hands, incomplete. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. It's second and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Looks to pass. He lets it go. He gets another, and this is a big one. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. First down. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Newton, options, left side. Guys, this one isn't over yet. Not by a long shot, my friend. They just put the ball in the end zone there. If they could somehow get the ball back, they need to do it one more time. Well, there isn't a lot of time left here, Coach, but that touchdown definitely makes this a whole new ball game. And he hits the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Washington 21, Auburn 14. Auburn to kick. Bailey and Polk back deep to return. Decent kick. Bailey fields it at the seventh. You gotta try the onside in that situation, right guys? Absolutely, you're down and you've gotta score and score quickly. Yeah, you never know. Stranger things have happened. They'll take over at the 28 yard line. First and 10. Brown hands it off straight ahead. Martin with the tackle at the 28. Washington will take their first time out of the half. Second and 10, ball on their own 28. Washington sets up in the eye. Brown hands it off. He's taken down at the 29 yard line. The Huskies call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Right. 
It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They line up in an eye. Browning back to throw. He looks over the middle. McPherson with the interception. Diving for extra yardage. Why would you make a pass like that when you've got the lead? It's simple. You don't. That was not a good choice by the quarterback. It sure wasn't. Call another play. Dump the ball short. Call a draw play. Run a sweep. Something. But don't put the ball in the air where the defense can make a play. The offense will take over at the 37-yard line. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. They brought him down for the sack at the 41. Auburn will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From the 41-yard line, second down. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. He's looking. Rifles this one out to the left. Got it. He's all the way down to the 15-yard line. Auburn will take their second time out of the half. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Vincent tackles him for a loss on the play. Auburn will use their final timeout. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. Four wide receivers in the formation. Toss is short. Caught. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. Washington will take their final timeout. About 12 yards out. Newton.